hello lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is Stella and you are welcome on food matrimony so today on the menu yes tease it dear who dear who this is the tease it recipe that I grew up eating back in Ghana in Kumasi to be precise and you are going to love it this is um, my mom's recipe that she used to make for us and yeah later on i had to make it at home as well so stay tuned and we are going to dive into it so i have got a mixture of meats that i will be using i have um, some goat meat i've got some muttons i also have the intestines so the goat meat i still have the skin on so that's going to give us that flavor flavor so over here i have a glance of some of the ingredients so aniseed garlic ginger or pepper seasoning and the rest i will talk you through it as we go along so first and foremost we are just going to boil the meat so i have got some liver some stripes um these are the from the goat meat um i've got some mutton as well in there so we have all kinds of things all kinds of you know concoction this is like real concoction it's going on there so i also at the back burner I, I have some um I'm gonna make soup i'm going to make some aponche kara kara at the back burner that's why i've got that but i am not going to really concentrate on that because i do not want that much distraction if you want to know how to make aponche kara kara check my channel you will find a recipe so i also have here that's cow's foot that i have already cooked it was in the freezer and i will be adding it on as well so moving on just going to blend um my ginger aniseed some garlic and some onions for to season and boil our meat over here so i saved the little and uh, the rest for my uh, soup so there we go i add in top it up with a little bit of water and then season it with some salt Some all pepper seasoning. This is the Noor brand. Um, it is called Aromat, and I just love using it. It's really, really good. Okay, so you just give this a stir to make sure that it is nicely mixed together. Okay, you want a uniform mixture. I also use that chicken tablet. That one was the Maggi brand. Yeah, I think it comes in two. It's two in one. So I just used one chicken tablet. So that's my soup. Um, so just add in some of the ingredients for my soup. But as I said, we will not be concentrating too much on that. So I have some red onion, half red onion, and some ginger. This ginger is the Ghana one, the Ghanaian one. My brother brought it from Ghana for me. So I, have, I still have some left. I just kept it in the freezer. So on the right hand side, I am going to blend these ingredients for my teaser stew. And here I am adding some habanero chili in there as well. If you can, please use fresh tomatoes and not the canned version because you are going to love the taste better with fresh tomatoes. So if you can, please do that. Go that extra mile. So you're just gonna blend these. Nicely blended for me. And we are going to add it. We are starting our teaser stew over there so i set that aside and i add in some palm oil so i will be listing all the ingredients in the description box for you what i will also do is i will specify what stage um each of these dishes will be so for the teaser itself which is the, the swallow itself it will be down there as well and the stage for cooking the stew plus the stage for also making the ayoyo soup so everything will be in the description box for you. So we make sure that the onions are softened. Mind you, they should be on low, medium heat, medium low. Okay, once the onions are softened, that's when we add in the tomato puree. I've got about one tablespoon-ish of tomato puree in there. So make sure that we cook this down a little bit and then we add in the blended ingredients. So these were the tomatoes, the ginger, a little bit of garlic, and um, what else did I have in there? I cannot even remember, but I will list everything down there for you anyway. So we just mix this. 
then over here on this side the meat is cooked it's nice and soft for us so just stirring my soup over there i'm making some apple and chakra as well okay so just stirring it keep um keep an eye on it so stir it occasionally i am going to add some grains of salem i am not going to blend it i am just going to put the whole grains of salem in there this is also called negro pepper so three in there in my teaser steel and I season it again with some salt and some shrimp, um, blended shrimps, shrimp powder. It's not really powdery, but I blended it on my own and I, it's actually on purpose. I didn't want it too powdery. So once our steel have cooked down, I add in my meat that is the cooked mixture assorted assorted meats <laughs> so i've got i've also added in the cow's foot as well so i've got the goat's meat um i have the mutton which is from sheep i also have all the intestines from the goats and oh that is what is going to give this the flavor that we are looking for I'm gonna just love this and yeah with this, we just keep an eye on this, on the teaser steel, teaser sauce, teaser soup. <laughs> keep an eye on it and stir it occasionally. And we have to have it on low heat. This is actually, it's not really steel per se. It's kind of like a, a blend between steel and soup. <laughs> so we have to keep it very low and give it time to simmer and cook very, very well. Okay. So there we have it. Our steel is cooked and look at that. It, I actually filmed this in the night and yeah, I wanted to show you just a glance of my kitchen. I have a very small kitchen, so no excuses. You can actually make this, okay? It doesn't matter how big or small your kitchen is. You can make some teasers and just home cook for yourself, okay? Yeah, just find the motivation and do it. So I've got some ayoyo. I also have this one, locust beans, or we call it dawa dawa. I have some petit bell pepper or papashito. So I have some okra that I had in the freezer and I am going to add it to the ayoyo. Um, this one is actually jute leaf. I don't think it's the real ayoyo that we have in Ghana. It, I bought it from the African shop. Um, it was frozen and um, it just didn't have that mucilage that I wanted. So hence the reason for the okra as well so i have added in some okra and um, to just bring out more mucilage out of it so this is blended okra i had it in the freezer as well okay so we just keep this a stir i remember back home in ghana when i used to go to the market and all these beautiful northern ladies they used to just chop the ayoyo for me and they would do it they used to chop it so finely i just don't know how they did it and it's the mucilage was just so beautiful and sadly if you're living in the diaspora you are not going to get that so you have to try and find ways to you know tweak things to get it close to what you are used to back home so just crushing my dawa dawa a little bit usually i would have blended it with um if I, if I had the whole ayoyo or if i was blending some okra i would have added it to the okra but um the okra was always already blended and it's, it was in the freezer so i've crushed it a little bit and then i've added it on and i have seasoned it again with some salt and here i am adding some amanense sour these are dried smoked dried herrings and it gives it this beautiful beautiful flavor as well so I've left some whole as well and I have just added them in there. So just break it into pieces and add it on. And I also have some shrimp powder or grounded shrimp. These were dried and smoked as well that I had and I dried it myself at home. And I am just adding in some onions. So we just chopped onions and chopped red onions in there. And give this a stir um this doesn't really take that long to cook probably about 10 minutes um 10 15 minutes you'll be done look at this look just look at that <laughs> just bubbling away <laughs> just bubbling <laughs> away <laughs> and i add in my papa as well and it's all done all done 
and here I have I'm just heating it this morning I have this on the on a Sunday morning so I had it even before church <laughs> before I we had church on the Sunday morning remember I made the stew the night before and in the morning before we had church I dived straight into it so we actually have this for breakfast so I have some water on the fire now and I am using I do not have the maize flour that we use back home and so i am going to cheat so i have this one and it is maize as well it's kind of like cornmeal it's like cornmeal that i have here this is the consistency but we are going to make it work we are going to cheat and it's still it is still going to taste just as delicious you will not even notice the difference so i just mix some of this in the on a separate pan and once the water is boiled, we just put it in. And once you are putting it in, you still stir, just as you will be making your cocoa or your maize porridge. So that's how we do it. So usually what we would have done is, um, if you're using the corn flour, that the same one as we have back home in Ghana, you would have still done it this way so you mix some in a bowl or pan or whatever add it to the hot water allow it to boil into that kind of cocoa or porridge consistency pour some aside and then on the other side you mix the cassava with some more corn flour and then you will add it in there but because of the consistency of the cornmeal that i'm using I am not going to add any to the cassava. That's why I used a lot to begin with. So I'm just going to use just the cassava. And as I said, you will not even notice the difference. So I'm just adding in my cassava and just going to paddle this. Okay. So my pan mm, is actually, my pot is a, it is a bit too small for the tea set, but yeah. We are going to make it work. <laughs> okay, so we do it gently to begin with. I am trying to avoid getting as less of our food on the stove as possible. And then adding in some more of my conconte or cassava flour. Okay, so as I said, you would have added, um, you would have mixed the cassava flour with some of the corn flour, but because I didn't really use corn flour per se, the corn flour that I used is not, um, it's not very fine, and it's not the corn flour that we sell here in the UK or wherever else. Um, not the really powdery corn flour that is used in cooking here for thickening sauces and that. No, 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 that's not it. This one is different. So then this one I will say, let's call it maize flour, just to avoid any confusion. So now we are just going to continue mixing it. And I'm giving it some elbow grease. So as you can tell, you cannot even see or spot the difference at all once you make it this way. So if you are going to go for the corn flour, make sure you get the white corn flour if you do not have... Um, the maize, um, the, I mean the white uh, cornmeal, not corn flour, the white cornmeal. If you do not have the maize flour that we use back home, that is a way to do it. So look at this texture. Nice texture. So I add in a little bit of hot water, but if you had, um, you set some of your cocoa, the porridge aside the porridge then aside you can use that one as well so I'm, i just decided to add the rest of my concomitant that was in the bowl and i add in a little bit of hot water just to avoid it for avoid any lumps I remember how we used to eat this every week. Things I was saying, yeah, more on kind of Saturdays like or on yeah. Fridays. And oh, I just love it. Mostly on Saturdays. Saturdays, mostly. And sometimes. Well, I'm trying to work. Big bro. Friday. And my mom, I must say, she has got the 
best teasers recipe ever. I lived in Kumas, I've tried a lot of teasers, but nothing beats my mom's recipe. But oh well, everyone will say the same thing about their parents, about their mom's cooking, isn't it? So look at that. Just look at that. Nice and smooth for us. And yes, once it has cooked to preference, we are just going to. I've got my little calabash then. <laughs> I have had this for years. I cannot even remember how long I've had this for. <laughs> okay. So when we used to go to um, the teas at Chop Bars, they have this other one. The one that is a little bit hollow and had a had a, has a little bit of a handle there, little handle. I used to love those ones. I had one of those, but that was back home in Ghana, but I don't have any here. So next time I go to Ghana, I'm definitely going to buy myself one. So I am just putting aside the rest into my um, my bowl. That's the Ferma, the Ferma um, bowl so that we can use it um, the next day. I just kept it in the fridge and you can just heat it and use it. So at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can heat it when you leave the rest in the fridge. So just look, tease it all in its glory, all in its glory. So I'm just gonna, you know, serve this Sunday morning. It's teaser time. So just adding in my ayoyo soup and some of my teaser stew in there as well. Serving myself a bowl of teaser. Then we have I have some kutuje, kutuje in there. <laughs> as the cow's food, we call it kutuje back home. So there you have it. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to just put it down below. And um, as I said, I will have all of the ingredients and the quantities all in the description box for you. And I will also try to list each stage of the cooking so that if you, you specifically want the swallow, you can you know where to click. Um, if you specifically want the teaser soup, you know where to click. And specifically, if you want the ayuyo soup as well, yeah, you know <laughs> at which stage in the video that you will find it. So I'll try and make sure that I do that for you. But please check the ingredients section as well. And I will have an approximate measurement of all the ingredients that I used. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I hope that this video inspires you to make your own teaser. It is not hard at all. Yeah, it is It is a bit, no, it takes long to make. My children absolutely love, 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 love tease it. But sometimes I get lazy making tease it. But yeah, it was actually Christmas come early for them because mommy doesn't always make tease it. You know, it's only once in a while. But yeah, just try and find the motivation to make it. And here is the leftover tease it. So all I did was put it in a bowl serve it and then just pop in the microwave and heat it together and yeah it still came out very very lovely i gave this to my children the following afternoon and they just loved it if you do not have a microwave you can still heat it on a stove top and the swallow you can just use that paddle um thing on the swallow heating warm water or steam it or something and it will still be great and then afterwards you just shape it to your preference so thank you for watching god richly bless you and thank you for being here if you haven't subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button for me and take care of yourself and take care of each other bye for now love you all